The United States has called home to many different cultures and ethnicities. I, myself, am Filipino. In Filipino culture, we have something that's called a balakbayan box. It is a tax-free way to send a very heavy box full of goods to our loved ones. It is our way to connect back home and send goods to our loved ones in the Philippines. But being born and growing up here in the States, I felt a disconnect towards the balakbayan box. Because now, most, if not all of my family have settled here in the States. And I just don't visit the Philippines. The last and only time I visited was 7 years ago. So, I wonder what it really means to send a balak by a box, because I feel it's so distinct to Filipino culture and central to the Filipino diasporic experience. It was estimated that in 2021, there were 1.83 million overseas Filipino workers, and Filipinos make up the third largest Asian demographic in the United States. I wanted to know more about the balak by a box, so who better to ask than my Lola, my grandma, and she just so happened to ask for my old clothes to send to the Philippines. So, I packed my bags and a 35 pound box full of clothes and make my way up to Sacramento to visit my Lola. So, I think a, a lot of people did not realize, and for me, like, or maybe others, the Balikbayan box takes a long time to, or it takes a lot of planning. So when we go home to the Philippines, we have, like what? like maybe months before we know we buy our ticket so then this box is a well-planned box what's inside the box are are the things that you want to, to give to your friends and families and you really plan for it because you need to know who you're gonna give to what they like or if you want if you want to give them shoes what's the size of their the, the shoes um, if you give them clothes, what's their size or what's their style? Um, it could vary too from food or um, anything of um, what do you call this um, like housewares or or what they they kind of like ask from you. And if you can give it, then you can um, perfumes. It's a lot of things that you can put in the box, even. Um, I ask for your slightly used clothes, it can be there, it can be a lot of help for those who, who uh, for friends who have children that can use clothes, um, especially the ones that we ship because it, you can ship however weight the box uh, would have so it doesn't matter but when you fly and it's like 50 pounds each box but then you get to get, to get two boxes when you fly. You know, when I was thinking about it, when you told me about this Balikbay box, and I thought like, yeah, it really signifies a lot. Like, imagine those people with all in the box, with all their names in there, anxiously waiting for what they will get when, when you come home, right? So, um, when you open the box, it's like all these people's names coming out, right? And you give them away, and then... Um, and you can see the face, their faces, you know, that they're happy to receive something. And so um, it makes you really feel happy, like even just for a little thing. You don't have to be like super rich to give something. It's just that something that, um, you know, like a, a feeling that um, they feel like you care for them. And that even um, you have to buy something a little bit extra because just in case you forgot someone and then here comes this person and you don't have anything so we kind of like go a little bit extra so that uh, we don't want somebody to feel bad like when they come and we don't give them anything but yes that's like closing the box and um, you know knowing that everybody gets you know at least something to get there and then the anxiousness of you know like the, the people like oh you're already here and then and then you call them like oh I have something for you or they drop by and then you'll be giving them all what they um, you know what you have for them so it's it's really um, like a great feeling you know like you make people happy after talking with my Lola I got connected with Ate Jenny. Her family runs 4 Cargo, a company that ships Balakbayan boxes. I wanted to learn more on why people send Balakbayan boxes and why it's important. Because you can't really go back home all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, as she was saying, you 
don't have all of those experiences all the time, it's important for you to send back home so that you can have that shared, that shared experience of, you know, I, I packed this, I bought this for you, and you can open it, and it's just, it's like... And that makes them happy. Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas every yes. time the box yes. arrives. It's, you know, for a lot of people, especially what, 20, 30 years ago when this first started, you weren't able to fly back and forth all the time. So it was a way for you to get closer to your family that you, you don't get to see for, for many, many years. Because we love our family. And it's one way of showing affection to them. Mm -hmm. Always family, family yes. first. That's why we send boxes to the Philippines. For yeah, you? it means a lot to me because I want to share what I have in here to, the, to my family, my nanay, tatay and the whole siblings, that's all I want. To give, to give and to give. <laughs> I also got to follow Ate Yeni's dad, Tito Reno, as he picks up balak buying boxes from customers. Watching Tito Reno pick up balak buying boxes and talking to people who were sending boxes, I could see the amount of care each person had for their family they were separated from. It's like we are the bridge to connect to their loved ones in the Philippines. We are one of the means to send their love to the Philippines. After learning more about the Balak Buy Box, I realized the weight that they truly carry. Not just the power and worth of goods and cardboard box, but the weight of the love and care between sender and receiver. Even though our family is an ocean away, we can still find a way to create a connection thousands of miles apart. So, tell me, how do you connect with faraway loved ones?